Uh, first of all, every major metropolitan newspaper in this country supported the invasion of Iraq. There was perhaps one exception with McClatchy, Knight Ritter newspapers. And I've written these names down, and they're in my wallet. I think we should know what I don't and they three young reporters, and they didn't win a Pulitzer, by the way, kept saying, wait a minute, where is the evidence? The only ones. I mean, the Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, the Boston Globe. This is what corporate media will do for you. It was not popular to oppose this war. Um, and also, the, uh, the things that they don't see, uh, having spent time with Thomas and Claudia, Claudia has a maneuver whereby she, she bends down over Thomas in the wheelchair, which is s s sitting next to his bed. And he, with, with effort, puts his arms around her neck. And she is now cheek to cheek with him. And she moves her arms around his waist, like the prelude to a kiss. She grabs the top of his trousers above the rump. And in an explosive moment of energy, all that she can summon, she lifts him up and surrenders him to the gravity over his bed, and his body bounces like a rag doll. She's a size four. And I watched this, and I thought, the American people should see this. And this is not unique to this. This is, you know, I, my fantasy is to have Bush visit Thomas and then tell him that we, we have to go now because I have 20,000 other homes and hospital rooms that we, we have to visit. That's my fantasy. Mm -hmm. they, they do not see this. They do not see this. I want to turn if, to uh, Thomas. Uh, go ahead. Phil. But if uh, President Bush showed up at my front door, the first thing I'd do is challenge him to a game of trivial pursuit. Of trivial or pursuit? Some other, some other academic board game. We have to answer general knowledge questions. Just so I could say, I'm smarter than a Yale student. <laughs> <laughs> than a Yale student. <laughs>